Hey, it's Richard with the SFU Satellite Design Team. In this video, I'm kind of in the middle of debugging something, and I realized it was a good opportunity to uh, just show a couple of uh, Code Composer features and like techniques for debugging, and um, they're definitely going to help you a lot, and they're not always obvious. So um, let's take a look at what we can do here. So I've got a couple lined up. The first one is useful. Say, for example, you've got a global variable and something related to it is kind of strange. You're not sure necessarily if something that you're unaware of is potentially changing the value of this variable or something like that. So um, a really quick and easy way to take a look at that is to find all of the references for this variable in the project. So this is the variable I'm interested in. All you do is right click, go to references, and then go into uh, select project. And down here in the search box, it'll pop up. Uh, it'll show you every line in the project where this variable is getting modified. So this is really useful if something is changing and you might not know exactly where that's happening. Kind of similar to this is, uh, oh, and this works on functions as well. So uh, if we go to here, so, uh, whoops, wrong function. Um, uh, here, this guy. So if we want to see everywhere this function gets called, we can do the same thing, right click, references, project, and we can see if we double click here, we go to the file that it's, it's getting called in. Um, and this is also useful, you can like do this to track down types. So let's say I don't know where this type is defined, uh, and I want to go into that file, so you can, what you can do here, kind of similar to the, um, the thing we saw before, right click on it, you could do the, the references uh, way, that would work as well, or you can go into declarations and then project again. And uh, it's gonna show us the header file where this is declared, and then you can double click on it and it will bring you there. You can also do Uh, you can right click and do open declaration and that will bring you right to it without showing the, the lineup of, of files there. So those two are super handy. You'll use them a lot. Um, another important one is useful as you're debugging. So I'll go into my debug perspective here and you can see I've got a terminal. So it's got some weird stuff. So I'll just close it and I'll show you how to get the terminal. So go up to view and then terminal, and it'll pop up in some tab. You can move these guys around. Uh, I like mine down here. So I've got this terminal, and now I need to just double check that the connection is okay. So you're gonna want a serial terminal. The port is gonna look something, it's gonna include USB serial in it if you're on a Mac or a Linux machine, and if you're on Windows, it's gonna be COM something, some number. Uh, and then baud rate is 115200, 8 data bits, no parity, one stop bit, and then you can click OK. And so I'll just click yes. And you can uh, close these with this button here. Or let's say you're kind of in a situation where I am, or when I, uh, I'll just reset and run this code again. Um, there's like a bunch of stuff in here, and this is gross, you can right click and do clear terminal and then it'll be cleared out for you. So the, uh, you may have noticed I just hit the reset button a couple times. This is super useful when you're debugging, I do this a lot. And uh, kind of the, the main, well it requires a bit of setup, so I'll go back to my uh, edit perspective and I'll go to the 
task main. So uart dma test is the function I'm interested in. And I don't really care about anything else running. So I tend to just put a breakpoint right below it. So it'll run this as soon as I, uh, you know, as you reset the OBC, and then it'll stop. Um, and that's, that's nice, because then you don't need to do like pause and reset. So put a breakpoint after what you want to run, and you'll stop there. And then if you want to hit it again, um, you're going to hit the uh, CPU reset button here, and then you do the restart. And that'll bring you to the top of main, and then you can hit play, and then it'll just run. Well, I've actually got a breakpoint. It'll just run until the end of uh, the function we're interested in. So that's really nice. Otherwise, you gotta the OBC will keep running. You gotta hit pause and then reset, and that's kind of annoying. The last thing I'll talk about is uh, connecting and disconnecting. So this button here that I'm hovering over, you can use to connect and disconnect. Now, sometimes you may become disconnected, so I'll just, I'll just disconnect anyway. But you'll see that you still got kind of the, the connection in there in your history. So you can just hit connect again to bring it back up, and that saves you the time of hitting debug again where it would build and then upload and all that. So it's a faster way to get back up and running. And you can see here, when you do this, usually you'll end up in some kind of reset kind of thing. In that case, just hit the CPU reset and then the restart button, and that'll bring you back to the top of main, and then you can continue. So that's it. That's all I can think of to show you. Those are just a couple quick debugging tips and like features of Code Composer that you'll probably end up using pretty frequently as you're working on this.